830 right now we continue to follow breaking news and the latest developments at Donnell Ford on Market Street in Boardman. Multiple fire companies from across Mahoning County were there uh, for hours this morning fighting a massive fire. First news on Fox anchor Chelsea Spears is also live at the scene right now with the very latest information. Chelsea. Dan, I actually just talked to Dave Flynn, the owner here at Donnell Ford in Boardman. He was telling me that from here on out, they're going to be trying to move on, pick up the pieces and continue operating. He mentioned they do have five other dealerships here in the valley, but as for this one here in Boardman, you can see bad damage. We're getting a little bit of a better picture now that the sun is fully making its way up. They've just put up caution tape here around this dealership. As you can see, some of the glass on the showroom broken out. The roof badly damaged after this fire broke out right around 4:15 this morning. There were massive flames, a lot of smoke this morning. I was talking to Dave Flynn. He said that most of the damage is here in the showroom. He said the service department wasn't damaged at all. So uh, some good news there in the midst of all this. I want to bring in here Jessica Hovis and introduce you to Jessica because we're looking at the damage now, Jessica, but it was a completely different scene when you woke up. Talk to me about when you woke up this morning, what you were seeing, what you were feeling. Um, a major adrenaline rush because it was just flames 20 feet high, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they could be seen from 224, I was told. So they were really roaring. The whole building was just encased, engulfed in flames. Wow. You're seeing video right now from that moment. Uh, you also described what you were hearing at that time. What was that sound? Um, like many explosions, like the, the big popping boom sounds. And that's what actually woke me up. And I checked to see if it was the TV on, and it wasn't. So that's when I went to the window to check, and that's when I saw the flames. and. Then I came outside to get a better look and assess what was going on. All right. Thank you, Jessica. Appreciate you taking the time to talk to us here. Uh, we can tell you that no one was hurt in all of this. There was a cat inside and uh, like a bathroom of an office. That cat was rescued by firefighters. I saw them bring that cat out of this building. That cat meowing as it was put into an ambulance. The firefighter I talked to who rescued that cat said that cat just seemed very happy that someone was there to bring it on out. And he said amazingly and surprisingly that cat not hurt because of all the damage that was done in this showroom. Now one other thing I do want to point out drivers if we can swing you around this way and show sorry uh, show you Market Street here in Boardman. Uh, there are about three lanes including the middle lane open right now to traffic. These are the southbound lanes of Market Street open right now. It is slow going because both north and southbound traffic is moving in the southbound lanes, but it is open at least partially for right now. So that's what's happening. Drivers, you might want to still avoid this area because it is a little bit more slow going than normal, but traffic back open. In the meantime, the state fire marshal is going to be come out, coming out to investigate what started this fire here at Donnell Ford in Boardman. For now, live in Boardman, Chelsea Spears, First News on Fox.